Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office for Friday, September 29th, 2023. In this update, we got some big, massive changes that you all need to be aware of when watching this video because while it's going to be warm for right now for the northern plains and also for the midwest we got a big arctic air mass that is going to nosedive southward into the great lakes and also into the midwest with a massive warm-up that is anticipated for the western u.s with the potential we might see some record high temperatures now before i do get started i want to show you all my weather photography 4k youtube channel I'm using my Air 3 DJI drone to capture some of the best aerial photography such as sunsets, weather, hyperlapses, and much more. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. There will be a link in the description below this video. I'm going to hopefully have a video out on that channel tonight. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You do not want to miss out. Okay, so here's a look at the European model for the entire United States for Friday night, September the 29th and the 30th, 2023. We got some big changes that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that are going to be noticeable for the Midwest, especially by the end of this week, end of the weekend. We're going to have some big time changes. Not this weekend, actually. Next weekend, the first weekend of October, that is the 7th and the 8th. We're going to really have to watch those models really closely. So let's go forward, right? Let's go all the way into tomorrow afternoon and you all you can uh, definitely get an idea that for october or for the last day of september we got this cooler air that is in place over california over nevada we're gonna see some high elevation snow what the heck this is the last day of september and we're seeing fall like weather you know why because the weather pattern is pretty much drunk it's wild and this is going to continue Let's go all the way into next week because this is going to transit the Midwest. And you can see a big system tries to develop here over the Dakotas, over Nebraska, over, say, Minnesota. This is for Tuesday night into Wednesday, so day five for October the 4th. Going to get some showers and some thunderstorms with that. Then that moves out of the area. But then this is when the big pattern change comes. We got some cold air that is going to be sinking southward. And you'll see that here on the temperature anomaly map in just a little bit, showing you just how cool the weather pattern is going to be. And look at this system. This is a big system that could develop over Michigan, over the Great Lakes and the Northeast. We're looking at some showers, maybe some uh, snow the further north you go, where that cooler air is, that freezing line, that's the 540 line. I could definitely bring in uh, some big changes to that cooler air with that rainfall that is anticipated. The temperature anomalies are pretty much pretty extreme. We got some very cool air over California, Nevada, also for Washington, Oregon. In fact, temperatures outside the door on my weather station that's mounted 50 feet high, reporting temperatures that are about 10 to 15 degrees cooler today than they were yesterday. We're in the upper 60s right now. That is much cooler than it was yesterday, whereas yesterday we were in the low 80s at this time. So a big contrast in temperatures from just 24 hours ago. And that cooler air is going to eventually work its way into the northern tier of the United States, but not for a while yet. We have this really warm weather, temperatures 15 to 25 degrees above normal, and that's going to just escalate. Look at this. My goodness. This is for Sunday into Monday. Temperatures that are anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees above normal. We could see some monthly records being challenged over portions there of Minnesota, the Dakotas, as well as northern Wisconsin before that warmer air finally gets the heck out of here by the middle to the end of this week. In fact, this is Friday morning, October the 6th through the 7th, our one-day average temperature anomaly. You can see some blue there. Yeah, that means temperatures are going to be below normal. So we're going to just do a whole 180 temperature swing here, and that's going to continue through the day's 9 to 10 range. You can see some record low temperatures at night, believe it or not, from the record daytime highs that we will see this week. So a huge flipperoo. Yeah, Ethan B., you could be talking about temperatures in the 20s and 30s at night. 
versus in the 70s and 80s that you're going to see uh, because of this warmer weather that is going to be billowing in. But it won't last too long because it's going to warm right back up beyond October the 13th and the 14th. In fact, many areas could have temperatures 5 to 15 degrees above normal. So let's take a look now at those temperatures, those uh, the air temperature forecast, because some of you are wondering how warm is it going to get for the Midwest. So let's go right into that right now. So this is tomorrow morning. This is tomorrow afternoon. You got temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Like, what the heck? What's going on? Like, that shouldn't even be occurring. But it is. It's going to be very warm for the Midwest for this time of the year. Indian summer-like feel out there. And that's going to continue all the way through the first day of October, where you have this warm bubble of air, including for the Northeast. You're going to have temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Temperatures quite mild across California for now, but that's going to change by the time we go into Monday as that ridge tries to build. You can see that hot air still over the Midwest. California is going to be warming up into October 2nd. This is October the 3rd. We got, again, that ridge that's going to build west. And so Central Valley locations probably in the 90s on Tuesday, as well as even in the low to mid 90s on Wednesday and Thursday. Because, again, we have that ridge that's going to be in place. But then here comes that cold air. This is for Thursday, October the 5th, October the 6th. I mean, look at these overnight lows. We got some 40s and 50s over Indiana, over Iowa. We got some low 40s and upper 30s over Montana. And yeah, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I mean, for early October, going to feel like winter in some instances with overnight lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. And yeah, look at this. Even for Indiana, maybe even some upper 30s at night. So yeah, bundle up buttercups if you are in the northern plains into the Midwest, especially by the first full weekend. That includes Saturday and Sunday, October the 7th and the 8th, where we're going to have some much colder air to contend with. And so the reason why that's going to happen is if we look at our upper level wind pattern here, this is actually the geopotential height anomaly. So areas in orange and red indicate, sorry, my phone rang there. So when you get these red and orange colors, that's above average heights, warmer temperatures. We usually see records being uh, dealt with there with the blue shading indicating below average heights and usually below average temperatures. And so we can see this trough here over California, Nevada. This is going to be ejecting into the northern high plains by uh, the middle of next week. And once it does that, look at this. The pattern is going to change. we got this ridge that's going to be moving out over to the northeast. we got another ridge that's going to be building in across the west. And this is going to really kickstart that heat wave that I've been telling you all about in today's video. It's going to really lead to records. And look at this. This is just sickening to see. By next weekend, look how deep that trough is. It's going to bring in much colder temperatures. So looking at the 500 millibar uh, wind map here, there's your trough. That's going to eject into the Rockies by Tuesday, October the 3rd. And then it's going to get into the Northern Plains by the time we go into October the 5th, by Thursday. And, you know, when we get speed maxes like this, this is going to bring in a big system that we really will have to monitor closely. Maybe some more rain, more severe weather events uh, on the docket, perhaps over Indiana, over Ohio, maybe some tornadoes, that sort of thing. So again, you may want to stay up to date on my YouTube channel for that. Looking at that 6 to 10 day temperature anomaly forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. And yes, it really illustrates with what we've been talking about in today's video. It's going to get cooler with uh, leaning below chances for below average temperatures for the first time in quite some time. If you're in Texas, Oklahoma, if you are in, say, Topeka, Kansas, if you're in Missouri, going to see some cooler temperatures there. But look at this across the West. We're going to see a likelihood of temperatures being above average, like 60%. Wow, that is pretty extreme if you ask me, including for Sacramento and San Francisco. You see, again, there's at 60% right there intersecting the Fresno area. You see warm temperatures there. And then, of course, if you're a multiplier, if you're in Portland in the northeastern U.S., 
also going to be seeing above average temperatures. Now, let's take a look at your 8 to 14 day forecast. It just gets colder. I mean, look at this. Ethan B., you're in Indianapolis. Yeah, you're going to see the coldest temperatures this season so far with a 50% chance of seeing below average temperatures in your area. So maybe get ready for the sweatshirts there. Uh, if you are in the southeast, below average temperatures are also anticipated. But look at this. This is where it really gets very dangerous. We have really warm temperatures in the 90s, maybe some low 100s there in the Central Valley. Some of the models trying to squeeze out a few members actually from the Euro already picking up with temperatures reaching over 105 degrees in Redding, maybe Sacramento area by the next weekend. By the end of this weekend, uh, the first weekend of October, the 7th and the 8th, be really hot uh, before hopefully another pattern change gets going. Now looking at your precipitation forecast, it is going to be dry. It is going to be warm. We have high fire danger that might increase over the, de uh, the, the Pacific Northwest, including for Montana, Wyoming. If you're in Idaho, uh, Utah, be really dry, unfortunately. Looking at the 8 to 14 day forecast, it's going to still be dry. Maybe some hope there towards the end of the forecast where we have a 33% chance from above average precipitation over California, but that's only slight, not very significant at all, with below average precipitation likely for the Midwest. So dry and cold for the Midwest, we're looking at maybe some wetter periods coming towards the middle of October, mainly, or maybe for California. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's video. Please be sure you do subscribe to the Weather Photography 4K Drone Ma uh, DJI Mavic Air 3 Drone Footage Aerial Photography. Going to plan on making at least one to two videos a week, all right? Members come first on the main channel, so you could subscribe to this one too. Also, you can check out the David Schlotthauer YouTube channel today by subscribing right now below this video, all right? So there's a lot you can go and check out uh, once this video is released. But that's going to do with today's update. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with you more tomorrow. Also, check out my social medias below this video too, such as my Facebook and Twitter.